Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining in and welcome to a new series that I'm doing on Anno 1800 where we are going to apply all the best mods, in my opinion, uh, to our gameplay. So the developers of Anno 1800 have decided to do like an official mod support for the game so now it's easier than ever to use the mods um, in your gameplay. So when you go to the main menu you'll see that there's a, a mod manager that you can use and then from there you can subscribe to the specific mods that you want and you can also activate and deactivate them from your collection that you've got so i've accumulated a list of i think uh, around about 35 different mods in my game that i'm going to use and uh, i will also list uh, all the different mods that i use within the description and if you would like to follow the series please remember to press the like and subscribe button as well as the bell notification but i am going to primarily focus on doing like beauty bolts so i'm gonna take it a little bit slower at a slow pace i'm not gonna rush to get through everything and um, i've opened up this map over here and um, it's a really nice map so i've scanned a few of the islands and i decided to come to this island over here so um, seeing that we are doing the beauty build this island seems l like a really nice place to do a beautiful city layer um, as we've got this massive plateau going up here so I think it might be actually the best place for me to build a beautiful city and then of course we are not too far from Madame Kina as well as Archibald um, so that's going to also be very convenient really to get whatever I need from them all right but I'm going to go to this coastline over here we've got a really uh, big coastline over here um, and I love that and uh, I think what I want to do is maybe start here at the top on that side I'm gonna start by uh, building my city working my way down towards this side and then I can maybe do all my production here at the lower parts so what is nice about um, one of the mods that I've actually applied to the game is where we are able to get commuter peers from the worker level so we're going to see if uh, we can get that mod to work and um, in that way it's going to be really awesome to just uh, quickly move all the production lines across to a different island and um, the, the island's name is called the Wilwo I don't know it's a pretty odd name but uh, I think let's start with that let's use that uh, I'm going to just go with that <laughs> okay I'm just pulling the road all the way through and uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and do all the houses here at the top um, but I do I'm going to need lumberjack pretty soon <laughs> but I'm gonna sort that out now so let's maybe start by making a block like so new milestone. and we can have uh, so this is an old town package that we also got from the mods and uh, I kind of like this look for the marketplace so I think I'm going to just go ahead and place this marketplace over here. I'm going to do that. And um, now that we've got a little bit of a workforce, I'm going to go also head on this side and just set up my lumberjacks. Let's maybe, let's maybe go for three just for now. And then obviously our sawmills as well. Right. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and also fast forward this um, so that we can just accumulate wood quickly over here. And I'm uh, going to just carry on on this side, just making a few extra blocks. I'm going to change the layout of the town a little bit later, but for now I'm going to just do like the normal grid system that I normally do. Just go ahead and place all of them here, just to build up the workforce a little bit. Uh, I can build the old town houses as well. Um, it does look nice. It's much bigger than these farmhouses. But it kind of like looks out of proportion really to be honest. If you look at the door and everything. So I'm kind of like a little bit taken aback uh, with that part of it. But uh, And then we've got a decorative uh, chapel over here. So this chapel specifically doesn't contribute towards um, providing faith. Um, so it's mainly, or its only purpose really is to be decorative. So I'm also not going to use that one. There is other small chapels that I am going to use. 
but um, that one definitely not. That's just gonna take up unnecessary space. Okay, I'm gonna send uh, my flagship down to Archibald just to get some extra timber. Let's just see if Madam Kina what she wants from us. Probably pickup quest, collection quest. Okay, just some flotsam. That's fine. Not far from us. In any case. Adjust the sail. Here we go. Okay, so we're building up our wood supply pretty quickly now. But uh, yeah, if you look at this, it really looks so much better than the actual marketplace that we get. Uh, well, that's in my opinion. And um, but there's a lot of decorative items. I must also just say that um, if you go uh, get some of the mods, you get some really awesome decorative items, and uh, it will also enable you to uh, utilize all of these uh, decorative items without buying any of the cosmetic packages. You know, because it does work out uh, cost you a lot at the end of the day to get every cosmetic package. So if you like decorations. Then you can just go ahead and go into the mod selector and get a few items there but i mean for example we get like these greenery walls which is going to be nice to just place them um, in lines in between the streets uh, i think it's going to look awesome and then you can get these museum botanical items as well as the zoo items which you can really just place um, them freely as you want so for example let's do this maybe Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this like as a decorative item. So for example, the cherry tree actually works in this little space over here, you know. So you can, for example, do what I did over here. And I think what will also look nice is if you use these greenery walls and you just maybe place it like so. And then we can pull the road all the way around just to color up the city a little bit. But I mean... Just looking at that, you've got some of the trees in between also. And um, yeah, that's just going to make it look more natural and picturesque, really. Flagship at your service. I'm going to just go ahead and collect some extra wood here from Archibald. Time for a kiss. All right, let's go on and well, further expand here. Certainly settles the stomach. I'm going to just maybe do it like so. Um, I think what I want to do is maybe... I'm going to leave three spaces open here. So this is going to be um, almost like a, a railroad space that I'm going to leave. And I'm going to do the same on the opposite side and going straight down. So this space I'm going to leave for the railroad. And I'm going to do like decorative items alongside the railroad. Maybe do the greenery or something. You know, but... Um, I'm going to just leave it open as a future, for future use, really. And um, it's going to just make it so much easier, you know, when I have to start applying all the decorative items. And let's just maybe do a single track like so. And I can bring it across. And then we can do three again like so. And then going across, let's maybe do three so. It's going to be like an intersection over here for the people. And I'm going to just pull it across all the way through like so. There we go. Okay. So this is where the railway is going to run. And uh, let's just proceed. Building some more houses. Okay, so I can do the fishery. Um, we've got a river fishery here as well that we can place on river slots, but uh, I don't actually see river slots, you know, I've um, gotten the, the, the mod package for the river slots, but uh, I don't see any spaces where I can actually place them. So for example, we've got the rivers here, but there's no slots, or maybe you can just place them at random anyway, I don't know, I'll just see how that's going to work. I hope it works. That would be really sweet to catch fish from the river. Yo, that would just help with uh, the space management as well. That that would be so awesome. Okay, let's see. Yeah, right. Fisheries. Just go ahead and start with two of those. And uh, then I'm going to need some clothing. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pull it through towards this side. Okay, and let's maybe just use uh, the space over here for the clothing. So I'm going to just leave that like so and uh, let's just build up our workforce a little bit more. Ah, almost forgot to drop this off by Madame Kina. Getting so engrossed with the whole building process. And uh, we can just drop this off here. Uh, so, and also if you haven't noticed yet, it's my profile character. Let me just show you here. Just decide, um, decided to call him John E. Grundy. It um, suits his look. So you've got a lot of characters. There's one mod where you, it gives you a bigger range of characters that you can choose from. So this guy obviously looks like the captain that you've got. The only difference is that you've got now the white... Um, I think the guy at the commute up here, he looks like this. Um, so he kind of looks like the ca captain that goes on the expeditions, but just with the white. And uh, you weren't able to select him by at default, but now with the mod, uh, we can get different AIs or characters really for your profile. I just decided to use this guy here, but there's quite a lot to choose from. So it's familiar faces that does pop up in the game, but that um, they don't allow you originally to choose um, any of those characters so there is a, a mod specifically and as i've mentioned it is listed at the description you can just go through that and see um to get it from there uh, the right name okay cool and we got a shipper now here from madame kina so that's quite nice um it does um shorten the loading speed but uh, i think what i'm going to do is because Money is quite a problem at the initial stage of the game, so I'm going to just go ahead and sell him. Can I help you? It's not that much of a need, but uh, I can do with the extra money. Alright, for now the guys seem pretty unhappy, but we'll sort that out now. I won't lie. Once they've hard. got their clothing as well. Here we go. That's sorted out now. And let's just go ahead and place a few more extra houses over here. Maybe another four like so. That's it. Okay, so we got now these um, old world chapels as well. Which is from one of the mod packages. We got the 1404 chapel. Uh... But now this is one that you can use, it's not just for decorative purposes. This one actually does generate faith. Um, I kind of like this look though. It, it looks more in proportion compared to the houses. And then you've got this little chapel over here. Which is like a concrete little chapel. Oh, I like this, I must say. This is more like a medieval uh, type of church look. And it's the same size as a house, so that's really convenient. And uh, I think I'm going to just, uh, definitely a better choice for me. So I'm going to just squeeze it in there, like so. And uh, that does actually look nice. You know, with this farmer town especially. Fancy making a while the I shouldn't ask. We've all we've ever wished for. Oh, that's an easy quest. <laughs> I wish I did goose for you. We've got some extra timber there. That's always welcome. And um, let's just see. Uh, I did get a package also for more fire stations. But uh, I think maybe that only gets unlocked at the later stage. Let me just see what I've got here. This is also from, from the mods that I got these items. So you can just build more warehouses uh, on the harbor side. So anywhere on the water really where you can build. You can place these warehouses. Um, I suppose it will work like a pier. So just give you more places to drop off items really. 
I think that's and uh, obviously give you more storage space. And uh, we've got these old town walls. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these to be honest. So watchtower, old town walls. I actually remember these walls. If I'm not mistaken, these ones comes from Anno 1701. Um, yeah, I did use these guys. Or it's either from 1404 or from 1701. One of the two. Okay, so you can see here we've got now the clothes and the fish and then we've already got the church need uh, met, so that's pretty cool. Mm, I'm gonna maybe go ahead and place the pub over here. Like so. Okay, then I think, okay, let's just maybe place the fire station here somewhere. Um, yeah, I think this is a pretty good spot maybe to start with for the fire station. And uh, then we can probably start upgrading some of the farmhouses. I think what I am going to do is I'm going to maybe just get some snaps production going over here. So let's maybe, um, let's maybe just do this. And I'm going to also do this. And we can use this little corner for uh, the snaps production. I'm not going to go too extreme uh, with my production items. Because I'm going to move everything across um, once I get to the worker level. Um, and um, if the mod does work then I should be able to build the commute up here within the next level. So we're going to check that out now. Uh, I think you do need, however, a certain amount of workers. I'm not sure. But we'll see now. Okay. There we go. So we've got the snaps production up and running. I'm going to just go ahead and maybe place a few more extra houses. Maybe another eight. And uh, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead and start upgrading um, some of the houses. Let's just start here by the marketplace. Milestone. There we go, perfect. But look how nice the worker houses look with this church that we got from the mods. That's really, really awesome. And the fact that it's so compact and it only takes nine of the blocks, that's really a big Honest appeal work. for me. That's all we ask. So I'm just checking here for the commute up here. Um. Uh, doesn't look available yet. Uh, alrighty. Okay, so like I've mentioned, I think you do need a certain amount um, of workers before they unlock that. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's just maybe build up the workforce and see what happens. Uh, I don't know if any brick works also on this island, which <laughs> I should have really thought about, but uh, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and carry on with the farmer houses here. I actually do feel like maybe leaving up open a space here. Three, four, five, six. So I want to leave maybe like this little block open here so that we can also do some decorative items right over there. But uh, I think, uh, you know, once you've got a fully fledged city going here and you've got the city running here through the mountains, uh, down this plateau over here going towards the side, I think it's going to look amazing. So these items, we've already got all those items. Just want to see that I'm not missing anything. Okay, we've already got those. Uh, okay, we've got some farmer fences over here. Not going to utilize those. 
Um, then we've got these uh, concrete, uh, or well, let's call it different pavings. We've got the promenade, a concrete floor, and then the paving. Um, I do want to use them, specifically the concrete, really. But um, I can only start utilizing them on a later stage because they're super expensive. So as you can see there at the bottom, it's like $50 per block. And uh, compared to the normal dirt road, it's only 3 so it's it's really expensive to start laying out that uh, but in any case i think what i can do is i'm gonna send my ship again to archibald so he should have some bricks available for me now and uh, let's just see if there's any other quests from Kina or Eli. Yeah. What I wouldn't give to get out hmm. of my a tiny Okay, we've got an escort not. quest. I'm going to definitely have to use my long. flagship then. And um, yeah, let's just send this one. You get good money for the escort quest, so it's good to do that at the beginning especially. And sometimes you do get some valuable items. But I'm going to just send my flagship out so you can see we've got um, Annie over here. This is quite interesting. I can't remember this ship being here. I don't know if that's part of a mod maybe. Um, but the base looks way more detailed than what I can remember. But in any case... Hmm, I'm not seeing they did say you are able to build a commute up here but uh, I'm not seeing any of that Hopefully it does pop up soon. On our way. But then, um, on that, uh, in that, if that is the case, if I'm not going to get the commutes up here, then I might as well just carry on building my production on this side. At least I've got the trade fleet now, so I can actually start moving the production over like early in the game, even if I don't get the extra workforce, I am going to build an additional town either way. So, a relatively big town. Needless to say, an escort must be what. Okay, let's just send this ship to go with this little schooner. Okay, then I'm going to do my usual procedure where I'm going to just round it off with the trees. Just looking for the temperate grove. Um, where is the temperate grove? Okay, I think I need a few more workers before I can get that. That's fine. All right, let's just leave that. Hmm. 
We've got some extra beautification items over here. But this looks a little bit different than the normal decorative items that we get. We've got the pavement over there. It's like a darker pavement. It looks quite nice, I must say. Actually goes very well with the worker buildings. It's getting a little bit congested here by the harbour. I suppose I can build another harbour. Maybe I should just do that for now. It only costs uh, 15 timber, so that's fine. Let's maybe do that. Here we go. And let's see if they can utilize this one. I believe they would be able to. Okay, so I'm going to just get a few pig farms over here, up and running. We're taking every care. All right, then we can make some sausages over here. Oh. This is actually from four, um, 1701, this warehouse. I didn't even now look what I was doing over here. I actually want this warehouse. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if you do want to change it, if you've got that mod with the old town um, package, uh, it will automatically take you to this warehouse over here. And then if you do want to change it, you can just press shift and V. Then you can alternate between the two warehouses. I'm going to use this one rather. And I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade a few more of the workhouses over here. We have actually unlocked a few more items. Let's see, is the commuter pier available yet? Uh, Arbor, warehouse, depot, depot, depot. All depots. Okay, I still don't see the commuter piers. It's quite unfortunate. These are good times. I'm only a cog. It's you what pulls the levers. I know you're busy, but I have a faith. Let's hear it then. A promise kept. Okay, this would come quite in handy, the iron founder. New orders. I'm gonna just send one of my schooners again to fetch a few more of the bricks. Let's just see what Archibald has got if for you us here. Now, you'll be back oh. in time for tennis. Oh, this is a nice one to sell <laughs> if I complete this. Dolly Roger. Two castaways. Go okay, well, my one schooner is already going, so I can just send this one over there. And I think what I am going to do is I've got enough timber production over here, so I'm only going to collect uh, bricks and steel. Um, from Archibald with the schooner that I'm sending over there now just want to see what decorative items I can maybe place over here I'm thinking now you know maybe I must get one or two of the water modules over here from the botanical garden 
got some really nice water plants that you get within the botanic garden so this is quite nice so maybe an idea is i can place it over here like so and i can do the pavement coming in from these two gates and then we can fence it out maybe by placing those type of greeneries again the greenery wall uh, i think that's a good idea But I mean, look how nice that looks with the fountain coming out of the rock here. And you've got all these lotus plants. That's really cool. And my town's attractiveness is already at 439. So I'm really boosting the attractiveness uh, with the few modules that I'm adding here. me around all you like. Okay, once I've got the, that extra steel and bricks, then I'm going to just go ahead and do some bread production as well. It's out of my hands now. Steersman. There we go. I'm not going to use um, this book at all, I believe. So I'm going to just go ahead and sell this towards Archibald. And uh, then I'm going to just pick up these um, steel beams and bricks. And that should be enough to just get the basic bread production going. So let's just send this ship back over here. And then we can start with the bread, and I'm going to just further expand here to the town. And uh, I think I do need to place maybe another marketplace. And uh, let's just go ahead and do a pub as well. And that does give me enough space to add another two houses within there. But I mean, it's already looking really nice just with the current setup that I've got going. I'm going to do a single rail going all the way through here in the middle. And then I'm thinking of doing something similar like this greenery wall but uh i'm gonna see as i advance the civilization if i get a better module that i can place in between you know just to make it look visually much nicer and i'm waiting for the temperate growth to unlock i think i need if i'm not mistaken i think i need 750 workers um to be in, able to unlock the temperate growth which i'm just gonna place here in all the open gaps i've got here at the back um just squeezing a few more extra houses in here. Let's just maybe do two over here as well. There we go. Okay, nice. So I'm pretty happy with the layout. And I'm going to just also go ahead and upgrade a few more homes. Okay, we've unlocked something new here. Let's just see, we've got the police station now. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this police station, oh, this actually looks different. Okay, I'm not quite sure from which, if it does come from another Anno or if it's a custom police station. But uh, I kind of like it. We should maybe place it over here, maybe. Uh, maybe squeeze it in here somewhere. Now this is actually a better design in my opinion from what I can see but we're gonna check it out now I actually need this uh, 
building material now for the the bakery but i'm so tempted now to look at this police station over here oh we are gonna need that extra space so let's just go ahead and take these away as well oh this looks really nice also kind of like a old school a European style I do like this hmm oh, this does look very nice indeed so let's maybe go ahead and place it like so and then it's using that dark pavement so we can go get this from the decorative items I'm gonna just go ahead and place the same type of uh, pavement over here um, this doesn't look like it. Ah, there we go. The small square. Okay, so I need the small squares over here. There we go. That's nice. And then I'm also going to go ahead and maybe place some statues in between on a later stage. But for now I'm going to leave it like so. That looks pretty cool. I must say. Especially if you zoom out a little bit. Almost looks like a mini monument now. Clay cover. Okay. That's not it. Um, Alright. I'm going to just go ahead and let's pull a road through towards this side. And then I'm going to just use the space here for now to do my grain. just going to do two of the mills okay so once again this is part of the old town package so you can change the building if you prefer by just pressing shift and v and uh, i'm going to do that kind of like the the modern granary and we've got a normal mill and then i believe it's the normal bakery so you can also there's a few you can choose from actually Better do this by oh, this looks quite nice. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should go for this one. <laughs> Alright. And the flour mill will supply two bakeries, so I'm going to just go ahead and do two of those. Okay, cool. So at least we've got the bread production now going. I'm gonna once again just fast forward this. Attention for the Admiral. Okay, so my escort quest is complete. Let's just see what I Madam Kina wants here for us. Delivery quest. Okay, you can just pick it up from a clipper. I want to just get at least, before I finish with today's episode, I want to get at least to 750 workers. And um, But I think I'm going to maybe have to just build another weaver. I like the way you set out your stock. I'll do. I'm gonna just check here to maybe build two statues. I think it will be nice to build statues here on the corners. 
Oh, that's a big statue. Um, newspaper? Hmm. Maybe. Well, let's do that. Do the newspaper on the one side and maybe just this column on this side. Yeah. I'm gonna just go with that. Okay, so I do unlock the Temperate Grove here yeah, with 750 workers. So I'm nearly there. There we go. Yeah, so now I'll just fill all the empty spaces here at the back. Uh, and then that just gives it that natural feel and look. There we go. You can see there, the city is already coming along very nicely. Here we go, I thought so. Okay, so now we are able to build the commuter pier. And uh, it's quite pricey, even for the worker to build it on the worker class. You can see here we need 50 bricks as well as 30 steel beams. And, um, but that's really going to come in handy s so nicely. So I'm thinking maybe I obviously need to go for an island that has got a different production than I've got here. So on this island I've got, got my grape fertility as well. And my red pepper which is nice. But I'm going to need uh, the hops and the fur abundance. So I think this would probably be the ideal uh, place to do like an agricultural island and then also with a smaller town that will accommodate it yeah I'm thinking this would probably be my next stop okay so then ideally my main island is here on this side so I'm probably gonna be ideally one to place my starting harbor here on this side and working my way up towards this side and then I've got some oil production going here so but I think the town I can put here in this little corner over here and then can do all the the production buildings I can build towards that side and so I want to literally move everything across and this will include my my pigs my everything really and the, the snaps production the grain I want to everything to be on one island I just personally feel it's easier to manage it like so um, so I'm gonna move all that across but I'm gonna do that within the next episode and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty a pretty exciting episode because we're gonna be able to set up the commute up here already on the worker level and that is something that I've always thought of you know that would be nice to incorporate you know um, like a commute up here from a worker class because then it makes the whole management of your pr products uh, so much easier. But thank you guys so much for watching. And then I will see you in the next one. Where we're going to establish the second island. And we're going to further beautify our, our current island. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.